moving forward, um, your take, what do you think is Marcos's uh, China agenda and what do you think is China's Marcos agenda? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yung yung naisip ko yung sa departure message niya na parang uh, meron siyang kumbaga panawagan <laughs> sa 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 ating Chinese na neighbors no, na parang uh, investors, tu tourists, uh, students. He singled them out also. Parang parang we invite you to please come back to the Philippines, invest in us again. So parang that's one thing. And uh, obviously Malacañang would work hard to emphasize yung mga economic gains natin from the visit, as, as the, you would expect them to. Um, I'll just go through it quickly without the, the, the nitty-gritty of it all kasi wala pa naman silang post-visit report. Um, yung, yung PR or yung release ng palace is to say na to 22.8 billion in US dollars um, of pledges, investment pledges. Tas si President Marcos himself naman said merong dagdag na 2.1 billion dollars in trade purchase intentions. So, um, wow, ang laki ng amount, no? pero focus tayo dun sa pledges, intentions. So, mm. ibig sabihin, wala pa to. Parang, kumbaga, ano lang yan. Parang, o oh, sige, ballpark figure, mm -hmm. ito yung kaya natin. Pero yun, parang, wala pang, what, what we need to see is the follow-through of these promises. Mm. Um, and on that note, yun nga, parang, I think it's also, yun nga, parang, recognizing and obviously emphasizing how important China is to us and how we are important to China. But at the same time, there's also you know, the West Philippine Sea, obviously. Um, and I want to draw back to what he said in Bangkok. Now, he didn't, he didn't mention this in China, but he said this before. You know, parang, the ordinary Filipino views world issues through hunger. Right? So that's one thing that... and. and Added, idagdag mo doon, tumataas yung presyo ng pagkain sa Pilipinas. Siya yung mm -hmm. agriculture chief. So, he has to balance all that out. Yun nga, parang being a friend to China, um, in, inviting China into, like, to, to return to investing in the Philippines post-pandemic you know, shutdown and, and borders closing down. But also, recognizing that, and maybe Sophia can talk about this more, yung, yung perception din ng Filipino uh, towards China as as uh, as uh, international ally. Um, so, yung mga bagay-bagay na yun, yung mga bagay-bagay na yun, yung mga bagay-bagay na yun, siguro. 